What's up, people? Just giving you an update video. I think we're on week number three of the new lights and the new Rescape. And as you can see, the uh, Boyks and Hydro SP Japan has uh, they've really taken off. Some of the uh, other plants I have, like the Dwarf Baby Tears and the Pogo Stamon, takes a little bit of time for them to establish, and especially the Baby Tears, they take time to really expand and grow out. But as you can see, they all the plants are doing really well. I had a little bit of diatoms on uh, some of the lower leaves of the hell fry, but I just clipped those off um, and did a water change today. That's really all I do to combat the the diatoms that go away on their own. Especially if you have uh, faster growing plants like the SP Japan that'll uh, soak up some of the excess nutrients and the silicates that are in the water. But nothing really new. Like I said, I did some maintenance today. I added a couple of my autos from my other tank just to get rid of some of the, uh, like I said, some of the diatoms. Uh, auto catfish are a big fan of them. And I added uh, a couple of mono shrimp, but I'm not going to try to show you them. They're probably buried in the books of Japonica. But like I said, the tank's doing really well. Very pleased. No algae outbreaks. Not a big, big swarm of diatoms, nothing like that. Just kind of uh, slowly growing in. But anyways, if you have any questions, oh yeah, I had one question, I think it was today or yesterday, somebody asked me about the shimmering effect and my water movement. I have this uh, XP4 that's uh, moving the water quite fast. And I also have this uh, small nano power head, I think it's Coralia, Nano, or something along those lines. But that may, that I think that kind of exaggerates or uh, expounds on some of the shimmering that I have. It's just because the amount of water movement I have. But you really want water movement in your planted aquarium so you don't have really too many dead spots for, you know, the Cladophora algae or Blackbeard algae or hair algae. When you have dead spots like that, it kind of kind of inhibits some algae growth. But anyways, I just want to answer that question for that person. I wish I remembered your YouTube name, but thank you for the question. You guys, if you have any other questions, just comment below. Appreciate you watching. Have a good week ahead, and stay tuned. Um, product reviews coming up, and another update. Take care.